Thanks for being here. My name is Dan Dykins. I'm the founder and CEO of Diligence Lab. I'm a former hedge fund manager. I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm a serial software entrepreneur, and I've got two successful exits under my belt. Diligence Lab um, uses uh, data science to intelligently connect um, students with um, careers <laughs> using data science. So there was a study done by Microsoft that found that the average human attention span has dropped from 12 seconds in the year 2000 to 8 seconds by 2013. While this is problematic, it shouldn't be a surprise because most millennials have uh, grown up with smartphones in their hands. Here's a millennial. This is Paul. Uh, he's stressed out because he switched majors. He's not going to graduate on time. And um, he's got a lot of friends who can't find work. And uh, he's a social media, uh, media user. He doesn't like to engage um, with people. <laughs> and uh, he is um, not very good about uh, doing meetings with his career advisors or with his academic advisors. This is Hannah. She's a career advisor. She's stretched pretty thin because there's 400 students for every advisor in her college. Um, and as a result, um, she winds up spending a lot of time trying to track down students. They tend not to want to engage with her until the back end of their senior year. And she winds up using legacy assessment tools like um, standard interest inventory and Myers-Briggs. Those assessments are expensive, and they ask students 384 questions. So she needs to convince students like Paul with eight-second attention spans to book meetings, walk across campus, and take two very long, boring tests. And it's not happening. As a result, um, uh, only about 5% of students are availing themselves of these assessment tools. This is Kelly. She works in uh, recruiting on campus. She's stuck on the recruiting merry-go-round every year. She needs to um, recruit, interview, hire, and train a new incoming class of young professionals only to watch them turn around and quit 15 months later. Over half the millennials in her office are not engaged at work, and 45% of them will look to leave her employer within the ne next 12 months. Um, turnover is extremely expensive for her company, and as a result, um, at an aggregate level, it costs the U.S. economy $30.5 billion per year. So clearly, the current system of matching students with employers is broken, and we're looking to fix that. So how are we going to do that? With attention spans in short supply, we tap into a large and growing resource, and that's social media posts. We read through students' social media posts using natural language processing and machine learning algorithms and in a matter of seconds produce personality profiles that we can use to match them with pertinent careers. This is much faster than traditional methods and uh, it conforms to students' mobile lifestyles. There's a huge opportunity uh, for displacement within this market. We compare very favorably to CPP, which is the company that owns the two aforementioned assessments. Our platform is much faster, far easier to use, and significantly less expensive. Plus, we have the opportunity for high student engagement given our ease of use. So traditional assessments need to ask you hundreds of questions to figure out who you are, because to them, you're a blank slate. But the world has changed. Students like Paul are now an open book, and there's a tremendous amount of social media activity that we can tap into and understand exactly who he is. Once we tap into that information, we make it simple for students to engage. No more uh, appointments, no more tests, no more questions. With the simple click of a button, we help students turn social media data into statistically significant personality profiles and career recommendations that have been independently validated by an industrial psychologist PhD. Once we get a critical mass of students on this platform, we're going to open it up to corporations for a paid matching service. So corporate recruiters can begin to identify students who fit well within their organizations from a cultural perspective. When you hire better fits, you get more engagement, lower turnover, and less cost. Companies can utilize our platform to identify the key personality traits of their top performers, and then we can find students with similar characteristics. We can also show them students who 
like the jobs that they're recruiting for and who want to live in the geographies in which they're recruiting. So we've built a better mousetrap using the power of social media. We can provide instant analytics to help students like Paul engage and stay on track. We can help um, career counselors help their students find their dream jobs. And we can help corporate recruiters identify and retain good employees. The downside to social media is that most companies are using it to screen out candidates, and that's bad news for students who like to put a lot of things online. So nearly half of the companies surveyed suggested that they would not extend offers to students based on problematic social media content. So advisors are telling students to simple, simply keep all their profiles private, but that's bad advice because 41% of hiring managers have suggested they wouldn't even extend interview offers to students if they couldn't get access to that information. So we help students identify and remove problematic social media content before they interview. We sell to college career centers because there's tremendous leverage. We sell to one college. We get access to thousands of students and hundreds of businesses. And we've been heads down developing code for the last year and a half. We've only been reaching out to prospective clients in the last five weeks. We're off to an amazing start. We have several strong indications of interest and a deep pipeline. And we've just opened up for an investor uh, round. And we'd love to talk to investors about this. And if anyone's interested in seeing a live demonstration, we're located in the Imperial Ballroom B today at 2 p.m. And uh, anyone can email me directly at dan at diligencelab.com. Thank you.